now to find the um, coordinates on a unit circle for pi over 3. And after we have pi over 3, pi over 6 is pretty easy to find. Um, so let's concentrate on the pi over 3. I have here a picture um, where this angle here is the 60 degrees, pi over 3. And this is another 60 degrees, so this would be a full 120 from the initial side. Um, and basically what pi over 3 does is it cuts the top of the circle into three equal pieces. Um, and what we're going to do is we're going to look at um, the uh, general coordinates at this point. We'll call it um, AB. So at this point here we're going to call A comma B. And if this is A comma B, directly across it it's going to be a reflection is going to be this coordinate over here and the only thing that changes is the x becomes negative and the y stays positive. Alright, and um, also we need this point down here. This of course, is, since it's on a unit circle, is 1, 0. And the technique here is to use a few facts about circles. One of them being that if I have a chord connecting the endpoints of this um, central angle and a chord connecting the points of the endpoints of that central angle, then the two chords have to be congruent because their central angles are exactly the same, 60 degrees here and 60 degrees there. So then I'm going to use the distance formula uh, between these two points and the distance between those two points and just set them equal to each other. Now remember the distance formula is equal to um, the short version, uh, the change in x squared plus the change in y squared, where change of course just means subtract the x coordinates and over here change in y would be subtract the y coordinates. And I'm going to use it on both sets of these um, segments. So the first one is going to be, um, let's go backwards, we'll go from the positive a to the negative a. So the change in x there would be um, the square root of uh, a minus a negative a, which would be a plus a, that'll be all squared, uh, plus, and then it'll be b minus b, so that'll just be a plain old zero. So that would be the distance uh, from this point to this point along this line. Alright, the other one uh, from a, b to one, zero, that's going to be the square root of uh, a minus 1, all squared, plus b minus 0, all squared. Alright, and then if I simplify and set them equal to each other, what we're going to get is, uh, here we're going to get 2a all squared, so that would be the square root of 4a squared, which is just 2a. Uh, b minus b being 0, we're not going to get anything out of that, is equal to uh, the square root of, this one gets a little bit longer, uh, expanded out, this is a squared minus 2a plus 1 uh, plus b squared. Now one fact is, so here we have a, a strange equation, but some things are a little bit easy. Like for instance, we know that the equation of this circle, unit circle, is x squared plus y squared is equal to 1. And since a is x and b is y, I know that a squared plus b squared is also equal to 1 since it's on the unit circle. So I can simplify this a little bit more and you get 2a is equal to the square root of, uh, the a squared plus b squared is going to be 1, 1 plus 1 is 2 minus that 2a. Um, to get rid of the square root, we square both sides, so this becomes 4a squared equals uh, 2 minus 2a. Uh, this is a quadratic, so we'll get it equal to 0, so we have 4a squared plus 2a minus 2 is equal to 0. Uh, highly suggest you divide everything by 2, since it's a common factor, including the 0, and we'll have the equation 2a squared plus a minus 1 is equal to 0. And that's what we're going to need to solve. So we're going to um, factor it. 
And this is a nice simple factory. I'm not even going to try to do the, the group method. And it's simple because it has a 1 in the back. So I know that these two numbers have to be 1 automatically. It has a 2 in the front, so I'm going to get a 2A here and an A there. And there is no other options. So all we have to do is figure out how to get a positive A in the middle. So I need the positive 2A here and a negative 1A here. So that would be the factored form of 2a squared plus a minus 1. And out of this we're going to get a is equal to 1 half and a is equal to negative 1. Now since a is over here, it's in the first quadrant, it can't be negative 1. So we're going to remove that answer and we're going to get just a is equal to 1 half. To find out what b is equal to, we're going to go back to x squared plus y squared has to equal 1. Um, so a is the x-coordinate, so we're going to get 1 half all squared plus y squared is equal to 1. 1 half squared is a fourth. Uh, y squared is then going to equal 3 fourths. And therefore y, in this case really b, is going to equal plus or minus, but since we're in the first quadrant it's going to be plus, uh, the square root of 3 over 2. So the coordinate here of AB is going to be 1 half comma the square root of 3 over 2. Therefore 2 pi over 3, this angle over here, is going to have a coordinate negative 1 half comma the square root of 3 over 2. And if we extend the angle down here into the uh, third, or, yeah, third quadrant to this point, this would be 1 pi over 3, 2 pi over 3, 3 pi over 3, that would be 4 pi over 3, and it would have coordinates, both of them negative, so negative 1 half and negative square roots of 3 over 2. And then finally we can come over here into the fourth quadrant, let's see, that was 1, 2, 3, 4, this would be 5 pi over 3, and it would have coordinates positive 1 half, uh, negative square roots of 3 over 2. And then you can do all your trigonometry for sine and cosine. Now pi over 6 is uh, the simple way of doing it would be to recognize that if we put in the 45 degrees whoops, that's not what I wanted. If we put in a line for the 45 degrees right here that 30 degrees or pi over 6 would be a reflection over that line. So the only thing that happens for pi over 6 is the coordinates get flipped. So this point would become uh, square root of 3 over 2 comma 1 half. The rest you can figure out. This would be 1 pi over 6 this is actually 2 pi over 6, this is 3 pi over 6 up here at pi over 2, 4 pi over 6, so the next angle would be over here at 5 pi over 6, and the x-coordinate would be negative, and the y-coordinate would be positive, and so forth and so on.